across the country have been gathering to pay their respects to those lost in conflict. But for the village of Neilston in East Renfrewshire, it has been an even more poignant occasion. More than a hundred years after the start of the First World War, the village has finally built its first memorial. Ali Gibson reports. A village comes together to remember. The people of Neilston, young and old, turned out in their hundreds for a day of service and dedication. For over a century, they've been one of only three villages in Scotland without a permanent war memorial. But now they are marking the completion of their first. The Neilston War Memorial Association have spent five years campaigning and fundraising for this day and the memorial was officially dedicated in front of them and many others who have relatives named on these walls. Rose McGrath's father is remembered here. It was full of pride and sad as well, you know. Because this has been a long time coming, I'm guessing, for this community to, to have this. Uh, it's a long time coming. Men from this small village outside of Glasgow served across the Scottish regiments during the First and Second World Wars in key events like the Battle of Lewes and the Somme. The trauma of losing so many of them meant Nilston became a village that wanted to forget the horrors of war. William Clark, David Clark. But this memorial and service is about creating a collective remembrance of those men 218 of them who paid the ultimate sacrifice. When we used to do the memorial and we were marking the members of Sunday, we'd done it on a basic wooden cross, moved up to a stainless steel cross with a poppy on it. Today we've got a bespoke work of art which is unique to our village and unique to our wee place. And it's a it's a tribute, a, a fitting tribute, but the horrible thing is that the beauty in it as well is also very horrific because it's the names that's on it that make it look so stunning and each and every one of the 218 boys have gave a lot for us and we'll be there every year to make sure we mark their names. Since 2011, the community have come together to raise more than £80,000 to build their memorial, with everything from coffee mornings and fun runs to charity hikes across the battlefields of France. It's brought the people here together. I thought, no, this community won't let this fail. Uh, it does, it, what became very obvious is it meant so much to so many people. Um, of all walks of life and various opinions and everything else, it united this, this, this town like something I've never seen and they just went, we're going to let it go. Nilston began life as a mill town and Glasgow artist Tom McKendrick, who designed the memorial, paid tribute to its heritage inside the cross, which contains parts of a working mill evoking the past with metal and stone that will last into the future. More than a hundred years since the first men from Nielsen laid down their lives during the First World War, this village and their families now have a place where they can remember them and where the younger generation can also pay their own respects to those who gave so much. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Nielsen. A new archive has